Yeah, yeah, I hear him too. Oh, 70 on that bitch. 70 on her. She cracked her. Throwing my shit. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, 152 on that bitch. Going into the building. Right. Down him. Down him. So here we have an early game where we're being ran up on by a team that landed at the crypto satellite. After landing artillery, my team was fortunate enough to find two purples and a blue. I just hit this enemy for two sentinel shots of 70 and 63. That's 133 damage. Now my whole team knows that this person is basically one shot and we're going for the push. On top of the damage I did, baby girl got her tukey touched by this frag grenade. If you look here, you'll see that there was a teammate that looked like a Bangalore that came to back her up. The Bangalore backs off after seeing the indicator for the frag grenade and the wraith is pushed away the main reasons we know this is a good push is because we're assuming that we have better shields than them because of how early game it is also we just got one of them down by a lot of damage and she allows us to chase her she has literally zero teammates in sight at first to back her up and we know that one of them is completely out of the fight we're either going to try to secure a down or go for the rest of her two teammates while we have a numbers advantage so here, as we're coming down the ramp to go for the chase, I throw my ultimate, and in the distance, you can see that the wraith phases out. I was aiming my ultimate at the gateway so that if she tries to fall back to her teammates, I would end up hitting all three of them, possibly downing her and highlighting the other two. But I'm fucking trash, so I missed. Unfortunately for us, the wraith is a little bitch and she can phase out to get through the tunnel. But unfortunately for the Bangalore that tries to cover for her, she gets hit by Tell for 152. That bitch is gone. Before Tell even calls it, I know that the nearest point of safety for her is this building, so I'm already shooting my tactical, trying to hit a corner of the door so that I can get her down. And I'm that so I made it happen. Oh, then. Right, down him, yep. down him, pushing this one here. Yep. Watch one to the left. Where'd he go? In this corner. Cracked him. They trying to make a port? I see him, I see him over here, over here. So here we see this little bitch Wraith trying to escape. My attention is on her until I see a Gibby attacking one of my teammates, and I immediately turn my attention to that big fat boy. This should be self-explanatory, but if y'all are not turning to help your mans at the first sign that he is in danger, you are just bad teammates, and you should probably play something like Fortnite. Any scumbag, any, any lowlife, any maggot piece of shit that I put down, I did it because I like it. Hell, I love it. No, they're shooting at me. Oh. Bitch? Yeah, back the fuck up. Yup. 90? Oh, yeah. oh, that's the oh, shit! <laughs> Throw the nades! Nah, we here, we here now. We here now, it's over. They got him up. Crack the back of the house. One down. Two down. Enemy down. Recharging my shins. So here we're getting harassed by an op. We get a down. Because they're indoors, they're gonna go for a res. But it doesn't matter. We just down one of them, and we can get there fast as fuck because we're right across the street. So either we're gonna show up in the middle of the res before they get the res or where they just get the res. But either way, y'all gooses are cooked. The difference between the last situation and this situation is the ground that we're on. These guys have high ground technically so because we get a down we're able to just rush them but if we were to just crack them like we did the wraith in the last video we wouldn't have been able to just oh let's push them because they have high ground and they can still defend themselves in the last video the wraith was on even ground with us and we decided to push her once we cracked her and she gave up that high ground but also that can be situational based on what character we have we don't have a fast or quick movement character that can get us from area A to area B in an instant transmission. So we have to use our feet. But if we can get to you using our feet without getting laser and we get a down or we get a crack, we're coming for you. Y'all just play too fucking much. Y'all play too fucking much. For this explanation, we're gonna do something fun to use Telly Tell Tellerson's point of view. So shout out Telly Tell for the POV. Give me one shot! Yeah. So here we are coming up on a third party. And right in front of us, we got a big, juicy, warm, inviting seer ultimate. A seer ultimate is a huge, no RSVP invitation for every team in the area to come and see what the fuck is going on for free. You got jump that? 
Yeah, come on. Oh, that might be big. Oh yeah, that's big. Oh yeah. Oh, get the fuck out. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. I'm going to the back door, I'm going to the back door, where you at? The main key to a third party push is showing up fashionably late. You pull up to the club, you hear the oops, 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 oops. Ooh, looks like it's bumping inside. Let me check through the window, see if everybody having fun. Oh shit, one person from that team went down. Two people from that team went down. It looks like it's the perfect time to slide. As you standing outside the club, you throwing sky nades. You trying to hit people with an R301. You trying to see how you can down. You want to thin out the numbers so that you go in that bitch and you don't catch COVID because it's too fucking crowded. Yeah, you see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the right. He inside here. Shut the fuck up. Where the fuck you think you crawling? For now, that's my first video on pushing and a couple situations where we got it done. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to drop them in the comments or hit my DMs. If you guys have any questions about anything else, I'm making a bunch of different videos right now and I'm hoping I can get to all your topics and it becomes much easier if you let me know what you're looking for. Thanks for checking this shit out. Keep pushing those that deserve to be pushed. I think there's no good in the field that I put down. That's what I think. And how do you know? I just know. Only I do the one thing that you can't. You hit them and they get back up. I hit them and they stay down. Let's fucking go! Fuck wall shit, dog! Bro, these need to... Oh my god, bro.